Welcome to SelfDiscoveryWisdom.com, formerly known as Self Discovery Media. On these podcasts, you're going to hear people who speak from the heart. They've taken the journey in life. Many things have happened to them, but they've changed it to happening for them. And in their strength, their courage, they've discovered their abilities and their wisdom, and they are now sharing it here with you. Do enjoy each show. We bring it to you with love and knowing that it's going to help you on your journey of life. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to another edition of Sarah's View of Life right here on selfdiscoverymedia.com. I'm Sarah Troy, and if you see a tail walking by me right now, that is because I am cat-sitting and dog-sitting at my son's place while he and his fiancée are off in uh, another country celebrating a pre-wedding um, honeymoon as they're getting married in August and they can't take time off after that. So... <laughs> This has been a very interesting week. We launched our Forgotten Children book on Tuesday and we went to bestseller, number one on the Tuesday and bestseller by Wednesday. And I thank you all so, so much for putting us there. This coming week is when the paperback comes out and then another campaign to promote that. It is, it has been a labor of love. And I, I, will actually honestly say it's exasperating at times um when you have 14 other hosts and you're trying to coordinate times and everybody's so busy other people have got books coming out as well and uh, it can be very very difficult at times to kind of get everyone together but we did for the summit bar our wonderful victoria curry who was in hospital with her daughter at the time and uh, she came on the other day for the live feed for the for the launch and this cat will not leave me alone uh, and it was i don't know it's just this sense of realization as it comes about right you've been working on it for so long it's been a five-year dream a five-year passion to want to do this and then for it to finally get here get launched and get to number one is just truly something quite exquisite and uh well we're here <laughs> but now comes the paperback book and that is for this week and this week the paperback will be out and you will be able to buy it by the I think midweek and um, 15 chapters 15 chapters of people who have contributed their lifelong experience their experience raising their own children the experience in teaching or um, advocating or being there for other children all of these people have dedicated their lives to children and families in some way. And to share that expertise with you on what the problems are out there and what we need to do to address them. And, and also each one of them has something, you know, resources or skills or tools or something that you can uh, reach out to and, um, and find out if there's something that is there for you. So, Yes, here comes the paperback book. And then at the end of March will be the audio book. And then we will also be starting Ask the Author Questions. Uh, that will be a paid platform because every author has an organization that they're supporting. So all of the proceeds of these books go uh, get divvied out and wants the authors to go to the organizations that are supporting families and children already. So um, this will be a paid platform for, uh, limited to so many people at a time to come in and ask the author questions. Uh, they can talk about their chapter, they can talk about uh, their expertise, they can talk about solutions. It's your questions and um, I look forward to bringing that to you towards the end of March. So still a lot more to do and um, Next week, or this week rather, I'm actually in Dare to Live Fearlessly, where I will be a part of this book too as well. Another anthology of 19 people, where we all contributed a small chapter um, in facing our fears and how to face those fears. Because it isn't easy, folks. You know, sometimes you've got the fears in front of you and they feel like a mountain. And you think, I'm never going to be able to climb that. I'm, you know... 
it's just not going to happen. And then you find if you stop looking to the top of the mountain and you look at the step in front of you, one step, two step, three step, gradually going up, resting along the way, taking in how far you've come, facing whatever challenges you have to face along the way, you realize you'll be at the top of that mountain and you did it. So don't be afraid of reaching the top of the mountain it can be intimidating if you just look at it that way, but look at the one step at a time, because I promise you that will always get you where you need to go. So yes, I am in Dare to Live Fearlessly. And then in June, in the Step Up, um, Stand Up and, and Speak Out book as well. So a very busy period. And of course, I might be moving as well, just to throw that in there as well. But there is a sense of pride of seeing something you've worked on like I do these podcasts and all of my interviews that I do, and I normally do anywhere between four and eight a week. This last week, no, because it was all about the promotion of the book. Um, but I normally do four to eight shows a week, bringing you people who are experts in their field, who are illuminators, inspirers, um, skilled people with wonderful tools. And I bring them to you to inspire you, to help you navigate through your own life. And I'm proud of every single one of them that I put out there. It is always a wonderful feeling at the end of the day when I post it finally for you to listen to or see. And, you know, knowing that it's going to help somebody out there. It's going to be that solution for someone who's looking. And it really is very gratifying. But something about the book, because... It's tangible. Like next week, I will hold the book in my hand. And the ebook is out there amongst everybody right now. And it's, it's a sense of pride of all that work, all that vision, all that belief, all that desire to climb that mountain and make it happen. And it was also a great deal of working with the universe. Yes, five years ago, after doing so many interviews with people on raising our children and what the obstacles are, what the problems were, and I felt there needs to be something more here. Uh, a book would be great. Other things were happening in my life. I kind of tried to align with people and it wasn't working. Then last year, finally, it was, I'm doing the book. That's it. I'm doing the book. And I reached out to all the people I'd interviewed before around children, and many of them had either retired, moved on, or doing something else. Only one or two of them were still around doing what they do. And I thought, well, what am I going to do now? Right? I have, um, the book has to, has to be written now. The time is right. And then I was just doing interviews with people on their subject and realized they worked with children, realized that their passion was children and families. And so the universe presented them to me as individual podcasts. And then it was, please come and be in the book because you are perfect for it. And that's how I ended up. And some of them referred other people. And so they got interviewed and yes, they were perfect for the book. So, you know, I love it when the universe steps in and says, don't worry, I've got your back. Just carry on doing what you're doing. It will be revealed. And it was. So here we are. The book is out. Paperback book in your hands any minute now, audiobook coming up, question period coming up. If any one of the authors is in your town, is in your neighborhood, please invite them to your books, local bookstore, your community center, your schools, and have them read that chapter, the chapter they wrote, and, and do question period there. This isn't just a book of Oh, look at us, we wrote a book. This is a book filled with important information. We cannot be the change that we seek until we understand what needs to change. We cannot step up and implement that change until we understand truly what the problem is and what really the solution is and collectively what the solution is. We cannot wait for governments and organizations, pharmacare, doctors or anybody else to implement change. We have to implement the change needed as parents, as teachers, as community leaders. We have to be there to implement that change so the government and other organizations understands what is needed. They don't lead the, the need. We lead the need and they eventually adopt it. If you wait for them, it will be millions spent on research only to find 
the answers were already there. Yeah, we'll get around to it one day. Instead of we doing it, showing them how it's working, and they go, okay, that seems to be working well. Let's adopt it. And excuse me. Yes, you. Ah, this is Toons, folks. And Toons has not left me alone since I've been here. She loves my lap and she loves being around me, loves sitting on me. And right now, being a little pain in the butt. But I love her. And it's... um. There's something about having the animals here while I've been doing this. She was sitting on my lap all eight hours the other day while I was online all day promoting the book. And she's been sitting on me ever since. And if it's not her, it's the beautiful dog who's a small little terrier dog. And uh, so I've been getting an awful lot of love, which just is wonderful. It's fortifying. So this book is important to be out there. Um, I have... Another opportunity coming up probably end of April where we will then be uh, putting a book together on coaches, uh, coaching um, various coaches. I haven't yet thought of what the title or the genre is going to be, but it is what the coaches do. And, and mostly it is about finding self-love. So all the various coaches and finding self-love, self-care, self-help, whether they're in the medical field or whether they're in the business coaching. But until you learn to love yourself and love who you are, what you are and what you're doing and who you are being, you really truly cannot be successful in any aspect of your life because many people are successful in business under an illusion of a, a fake identity. And at some point that crumbles and the people that truly are themselves and they step up being themselves in loving who they are and why they're doing what they're doing, they become intoxicating and people want to be around them. So the book will be somewhere around that. Then the following book will be Our Forgotten Seniors. And Our Forgotten Seniors is just as important as Our Forgotten Children. We have baby boomers and some are dying. And I'm a baby boomer, it's kind of at the younger age of it. And they've paved the way. You don't have that cell phone without them. You don't have that computer without them. You don't have the internet without them. You don't have Tesla car, all of those things without them. So we need to respect our elders. And right now, due to economics, uh, due to health, due to other things, we're kicking them to the curb and we need to stop doing that and respect and value the path they've paved. Has it been a perfect path? No but they've navigated it better than the path before. So each generation brings something else and we must look at our elders with respect and gratitude for what path they've laid for us. And then next year, 25, we will come back with our Forgotten Children Volume 2, where we will bring you more people with more diverse subjects on the raising of our children. And if you have an idea for whom, or an idea of what you would like to see in the book, there will most certainly in the book will be on Down syndrome, as we've not covered that yet. Uh, we will most certainly cover um, more autism and uh, artistry and illumination there. But if you've got somebody that you feel needs to be in any of these books, please do reach out to me at selfdiscoverywisdom, selfdiscoverywisdom at gmail.com. And uh, let us start putting the list together and doing the research. And we always do why shows first, and then we do chapter shows and, um, you know, getting that list. So I don't like to kind of repeat a subject um, in, a, in a book. Um, we do have one that's slightly repeated where both children had the same problem, um, but both parents approached it in a different way. So it shows different angles. And, um, and uh, you know, this is the thing, there is never ever one, one side to anything. There's always many sides to things. But if you, you know, for any of these books, you feel you need to have this person in it, or oh, I would love to have this subject covered, um, please do reach out to me and we'll start putting a list together and start delving into it. As I said, the next one is going to be on coaching. And so the coaching, you know, um, to self-love uh, in business and everything that you do. 
So, as I said, it's still not completely formatted in my head yet. I have to wait for the universe to download that clarity to me. But most certainly, that is the uh, gist of what the book will be about. Uh, right now, it's still about our forgotten children and all that it is and all that it stands for. So thank you so much for putting us up to bestseller list and number one, a new release. Thank you so, so much. And with the paperback, please do reach out and grab the book. This is a book I would love you to purchase and give to your school, give to your local community, give to daycares, give to um, doctors or, or therapists, um, give to your church. You know, it is about being there and supportive and being support for them because what's in this book can be very, very supportive for them. So please do donate this book to other people as well. Um, have a book club on it, talk about it, have a podcast club, listen to the summit um, of all of the authors and what they contribute and then start having a conversation. This book is to incite conversation. It's to incite what needs to be done. And if it lifts you up and puts you on a trajectory to take charge of something in your own arena and go, okay, let us be that change. Let this book be the propelling of that change. Hallelujah. Because this is, we, we've only got 15 chapters here. We haven't got all the answers. That's why there's going to be more books. But if it starts the conversation, has better understanding, you do not have to be a parent. You do not have to be a teacher or a caregiver. You could be ordinary Joe in the street. But when you see a mother having a child with a meltdown, or you see a mother just losing it, <clears throat> or you see somebody, a child that looks lost or is scared and frightened of the lights and frightened of the people, don't assume, ask, can I do anything to help? Can I do anything to help? And one of the first things you can do is not judge because you have no idea what they're going through, no idea what they're facing, and no idea what if they're doing it alone or not. Because many times with um, children who have, are differently abled, which I prefer to put, um, one of the parents has left, and then that other parent is trying to balance everything. So please be there, be there for them. So thank you once again for our forgotten children and all the book that it represents, championing change in our children, leaders and our leaders of tomorrow, because they are our leaders. So if we invest in them today, love them, nurture them and allow them to be the gift they are today, then they will be better leaders tomorrow. So please get the book, share the book, buy the book for other people. Converse with others about the book. Broaden that widened aspect. And if again, for any of the books coming up in the next 18 months, you have an idea for a topic, or you have an idea of someone that should be in any of the books, reach out to me at selfdiscoverywisdom at gmail.com and put in the in the title idea for book. All right. And then you can give me the content in the in the email. So again, once again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This is wonderful to see a dream realized. April 4th, I would have been doing podcasting 12 years. June will be 11 years with my own network. This has been a dream to do these books for a long time. And yes, it's taken a while, but we're here. And I'm very proud of it. I really am. I'm very proud of the direction we're going in. The educational platforms that we're going to be bringing is just so exciting to finally see the image of that dream come to fruition. So go to orchardofwisdom.org, orchard, O-R-C-H-A-R-D, ofwisdom.org, O-R-G, slash forward, Our Forgotten Children book. You will find all of the authors there. You will find where to buy the book there. You will find the summit there. And when you go to each of the author's pages, you'll find the shows that they've done with me as well and all about them and what services they have. Orchardofwisdom.org slash forward, Our Forgotten Children book. Thank you so much. And don't forget to listen to more of our shows here on selfdiscoverywisdom.com. There are 3,500 of them. God bless. Take care. Bye for now. 
We hope that you enjoyed the show. There are so many more for you here on selfdiscoverywisdom.com. Just go to the podcast tag at the top there and you will see all the many genres and all 3,000 shows ready for your listening. We are here to serve you, to help you on your journey of life. And we know that through inspiration, it begets invitation. We are supported by you, the listeners, and those that we interview. Anything that you can spare us in donation would be greatly accepted. And we do hope that you enjoy the next show.